Okay, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science Channel Brazil. Today is Sunday, uh, October the 17th. And because it is Sunday, that means it's also time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started here, let's go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, let's go and uh, let's take a look at your numbers for today, okay? So, so what do we got here? Okay, Brazil, so you had a total of five views yesterday. Four of those views were uh, younger folks. So thanks so much, younger folks, for your for your loyalty to this channel. Glad you're finding this report to be useful. Uh, of course, it would be great if you would click on that share button, share the video on your on your Facebook and Twitter accounts today, okay? Of course, subscribe also. But also, you know, if you look at the description to the video below, you can see two links. The first link is the Dave's Data Analytics channel on Twitch. That is my... Data, that's my R programming and data analytics channel live stream on Twitch. That'll be at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's New York time tonight. Stop by and join in the fun, okay? Secondly, I need some help growing my Twitter my Twitter feed. Uh, I'd appreciate if you click on that second link, which is my Twitter account, and then follow me on Twitter today. Okay, let's get on with the show. I guess because this is Sunday, we're going to start with uh, the vaccination report. Okay, so what we can see here, Brazil, is that, that you currently have vaccinated uh, 256.4 million people. Of those, 156, 156 million have received the first treatment, and 105 million have received the full treatment. And we look at percentage wise, what we see is currently. Uh, seventy-two percent of your uh, yeah, All right. So seventy-two percent, seventy-two point nine percent of your population have received the first dose. And uh, forty-nine point one percent have been fully vaccinated. Okay. Take care of part one of your reports for today, Brazil. Now let's take a look at your daily COVID-19 analysis. Okay, currently Brazil, you've had 21.4 million, 21.5 million cases, 603,152 deaths. Now, this here doesn't look particularly good because you have passed maybe very close to doubling the number of cases in 2021 over 2020. We've got to be careful with this now because the first question is how many people are vaccinated and what is the distribution of these cases over time, okay? Well, this is helpful by itself. It could be, it could, it could be misleading, okay? Deaths, well, deaths, you certainly double deaths. Okay, so this is, of course, this isn't a good situation, but again, the question is how many people are vaccinated and what's the distribution of these deaths over time? So let's just begin with taking a look at daily cases. Now, your number is a little different. Uh, like the U.S. had, in July, had a big, steep increase in cases up until almost February, followed by then a long declining pattern down to July of this year. Then a spike in July. Okay, but your numbers seem to be a longer, uh, longer, more gradual decline increase over time. So it spiked up here at uh, on June the 23rd at 115,228 cases. But by uh, October the 16th, that number had fallen to 11,250 cases, with a daily average of 2,000 or 12,908 cases per day. So this so. So this is why this could be a little misleading because you did have this nice long declining pattern been back, beginning back in June. Now what about deaths? You still you had this kind of this longer, low, uh, slower increase here over to like January. Then in January, the numbers really started to pick up until they spiked up here on April the 8th at 4,249 deaths for a single day. But you can see as of October 16th, that no, the deaths have fallen down to 483 deaths for a single day. 
with a daily average of 387 deaths, okay? Now, if we take a look here at these numbers here, you can see again, this declining pattern, okay? Remember, but all these numbers here are represent the, uh, so you can, again, you can see here, you, you, you did spike back in June, it looks like, uh, either here or here. Then you began to decline again. Your cases began to decline again sometime in July, June, late June, early July. Now, deaths, again, the single spike up. Now, you had this long declining pattern. So, so this, this is good news. You know, anytime we get a declining pattern in case of death, that's, 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 that's a victory for Brazil, okay? It means you're beating the disease. Now, what about monthly cases? Well, there's a very good chance that October is going to be the fourth month in a row when your case is declined. Again, th th this, is, this is also a good example why you got to be careful. Make sure you get enough of the different numbers, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, in order to get the complete picture. Because, you know, you, th these, these four months decline wouldn't appear in the yearly plots, okay, because, because they're overwhelmed by all the other higher numbers over here, okay? What about deaths? Well, again, one, well, three, six. There's a very good chance that October is going to be the sixth month in a row, Brazil, when your deaths began to decline. Okay, Brazil, so that concludes your report for today. Of course, as always, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, the like button, and the share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter, emails and text messages today, Brazil. Also, if you're interested in our programming, join me tonight at 8 p.m. New York time for Dave's Day, for Dave's Data Analytics channel on Twitch. There's a link in the description below. I can also use your help getting my, uh, my Twitter feed off the ground. Okay, my, my Twitter feed off the ground. And... Uh, Okay, so that, that link is also in the description below to my Twitter account, okay? So thanks again so much, Brazil, for your time. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.